Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about creating all the components needed to shoot a projectile in a gameplay ability that is given to the player when the weapon is equipped. The first thing we'll do is create the projectile for our pea shooter. This will be a blueprint actor. We'll call this BPP. We're going to add a sphere. Drag it on to the default scene route. Add a projectile movement component. For the sphere, we want to go to collision. Just going to, for now, set this to overall or overlap all dynamic. We want overlap events. We don't need head events and we don't need it to step up. However, we do want to then set this to custom and set our world static to block. That's so that it can hit the walls. For the projectile movement, we'll, we'll start for testing at 300 speed. And we want the gravity scale to be zero. In the mesh, we want this to be much smaller, put it at 0.1. And I'm going to go to basic shape material. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm just going to call this matte green. And I'm going to move that into weapons folder. Can't drag it on there. Okay. And then I'll select it in here. We can open that up and just set the value to green. In the event graph here, we're going to want to get the ability component of the overlapped actor. As long as that is valid. And our owner. Because that is valid. We can use that to make an outgoing spec for the GE damage we used earlier. I'm going to use that to call assign tag set by caller magnitude. We used damage set by caller, and we can just set that to five. And then we'll use the source ability consist or ability system component to call apply gameplay effect spec to target. So this says target and target. This is actually the source. And the target is the target.
Lastly, once it's done its damage, we can just destroy the actor. Similarly, when it hits a wall, we want event hit. And we don't care what it hits at this point, we just destroy it. And I forgot to drag this over here. Next, we'll create the uh, pea shooter fire. This is a blueprint. This is our TDS game playability. GA pea shooter fire. So as usual, we will start with get avatar, cast that to a third person character, promote that to a variable, just call it character. We then call committability. And we're going to call spawn actor from class. I'm going to split the transform because we really only need the rotation and the location. I'm also going to split the location because we want this to be, uh, we want the projectile to always be horizontal in a top down shooter. So it's going to have a elevation of 100. And then we need the character, which we will send as the owner. Set the collision override to always spawn. We want to get the mesh. So that we can get the world location. Which we will add. And split this pin. This will be the end result to X and Y direction. I'm going to use the character to get the actor rotation. This value is being set in the third person character based on where the mouse is hitting the ground. So that is the spawn rotation. And we also want to convert it to a vector, which calls the function get rotation x vector. And that is the value we'll add here. And then, as always, we call end ability. And of course, we need to also include the class, which is PPP. P. 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 We go back into the P shooter weapon. And we can set the weapon fire ability class to our new pea shooter fire. And we'll go ahead and remove this one for the weapon alt. So I'm firing it, but you can well you can you can not see. You can see that it's not uh, actually going out, but the character's taking damage.
going to alt click this so that's where it's just applying direct damage when i fire it's still just taking damage that's because as soon as it spawns it hits the player and applies damage because in that case the source and uh, target are both valid uh, ability system components so there's a few ways to prevent uh, projectiles from hitting the player the one that has been most consistent for me is using collision channels so to do that we go into projectile settings collision under object channels we can add a new object channel i'll call this attack bc i want the default response to be block because the walls in our level and all the all the blocks here if i click this i go to static mesh scroll down to collision you'll see that collision preset is default that means when the new collision channel was added to the list it is set to blocking which is what we want otherwise we would have to go through and edit every single wall in this example and we don't want to do that uh, in your own game if you have your own custom models for that you can uh, you can do it a little differently for this then we need to make sure that the collision under here the object type is now attack pc and then we don't want projectiles to collide with themselves so we'll just turn them off in the third person character similarly you need to go in here go to the collision so the collision preset is upon which is what we want except now because we just set the collision uh, channel to blocking that's the default here so we need to set this to custom so that we can ignore it and then we do that as well for the mesh so similarly i set this it was character mesh which is what set the default information set it to custom so it can be edited and ignore our attack pc there we go and you can see collided with the wall and nothing came out the other side and you know because the speed is slow I can just run through it now so to finish that up we will actually want our projectiles to not be so slow so we can set that up to like 3000 which is way too fast Now you'll also notice it's just going right through these ones. That's because if we look at this, we see in the static mesh, mesh component that it is a physics body. So we can go into our P and set blocking on physics bodies. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.